He's an actor, singer, and writer. But most importantly, he is Iron Man. Apparently, I'm volatile, self-obsessed, don't play well with others. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for our top 10 favorite Robert Downey Jr. moments. This is a serious mess. Does the phrase bail us out immediately mean anything to you? Number 10, music to his ears. Thank you all for coming. It's good to be in Boston. Aside from being hella charming and super intelligent, RDJ is multi-talented and likes to show off. Yeah, a little rusty. <laughs> Fortunately, he's not a standard Hollywood egomaniac who thinks he can do anything. He actually can sing and play piano and drums. Sometimes he sounds like Springsteen and sometimes he sounds like Sting, but he's always worth a listen. Putting up rain dancing songs of joy and peace. Oh, wish I had a river I could skate away on. Also, he has an album that he wrote and painted the album art for. It's pretty exclusive, you've probably never heard of it. I'll never set foot in that rat hole again, but I'll drive to your place. Number nine, drunken trampy is no way to go through life, Downey. Before his second, third, whichever comeback, Downey earned tons of acclaim by portraying screen legend Charlie Chaplin. The tramp's energy, buoyancy, and playfulness are captured to a T. And to say Downey managed the mannerisms would be an understatement. His work earned him an Oscar nod, and we like to think it was this scene that got him the nomination. Kindly remember, sir, this is a place of entertainment! Number eight, and the award for best award show appearance goes to... Robert Downey Jr. It doesn't matter if he's presenting, winning, or even in the room. Robert Downey Jr. should be at all award shows ever. If you start playing violins, I will tear this joint apart. Let's break that down. As a presenter, he'll claim to have bed all the Best Actress nominees. Julianne. As a winner, he'll thank his fans. So Joyce, this is for you. Or better yet, he won't have prepped anything at all. First of all, I'd like to thank Susan Downey for telling me that Matt Damon was going to win, so don't bother to prepare a speech. Even if it's off the cuff, it's clever, well-structured, unpretentious, and hilarious. I mean, I really don't want to thank my wife because I could be bussing tables at the Daily Grill right now if not for her. <laughs> Jesus, what a gig that'd be. Number seven, a role with any other accent is still our DJ. Get <laughs> it's not just a party trick or something he used during his best left forgotten season as a Saturday Night Live cast member, Downey is good at accents. Okay, today I'm going to jump up and down for you like nothing what you've ever seen before. Aside from his better than average stab at British inflection, RDJ has managed to perfect the impossible Australian drawl after using it in two separate flicks. I think I might be nobody. Wow. We still can't get over how great his black dude voice is. I'm leaving you people. Huh. What do you mean, you people? What do you mean, you people? But then there's this guy. It is a mist, a cohesion of the energy of life. Number six, sage advice from an unlikely source. We're supposed to be a unit. Suck my unit. You want talent? Try portraying an over-the-top Australian actor in the role of a stereotypical black soldier who's dressed as an Asian farmer. Or to put it more simply, I'm a dude playing a dude disguised as another dude. What? Blackface is ballsy enough, but Downey ups the ante with some politically incorrect, Oscar-worthy advice to his co-star. You went full retard, man. Never go full retard. You don't buy that? Yeah, Sean Penn, 2001, I am saying. Remember? Went full retard. Went home empty handed. And what do you know? RDJ earned an Oscar nomination for his role as a dude playing a dude playing another. Oh, never mind. You a dude that don't know what duty he is! Or are you a dude who has no idea what dude he is and claims to know what duty he is? What the f are you guys talking about? Number five. RDJ wants love. You know what? I it's hard for me to hold it because I've been arrested so many times. <laughs> <laughs> yes, RDJ has been to jail, prison, rehab, you name it. Hey, he used to bunk with Kiefer Sutherland. That's bound to get you in trouble. Do you remember why we came to college? Yeah, to have fun. Which I'm not having right now. No. 
When he finally cleaned up in 2001, his first post-rehab job was singing for another former addict, Elton John. I want love, but it's impossible. This video is just one long shot of RDJ walking around a house lip-syncing the song, and only he could make it this riveting. I want a love that don't mean a thing, that's the love I want, I want love. Number four, who let the dogs out? Yes, we know, Downey has had issues over the years, and with a first job like this, it's no wonder. He's been acting for most of his life as a leading man, supporting actor, superhero, black guy, whatever. We lost! We super lost, man! Tell him, McCluskey! But his first role was as a dog, sort of. RDJ spoke his first words on screen in his father's movie, Pound, where all the actors played canines. And make no mistake, it's a memorable line. Have any hair on your bowl? <laughs> Number three, scaring the pants and more off Robert Downey Jr. Where? is the girl. What did you just do? I just I put in one bullet, didn't I? I you put, put a live one. round in that gun? Oh, yeah. There was like an 8% chance. Eight percent. Was that just eight? Eight? Yeah. Who taught you math? math? more. I don't know. Speaking of memorable lines, in one of his earlier roles, RDJ, credited as Robert Downey, hold the junior, plays a good old-fashioned high school bully in Weird Science. Between the goofy dancing and goo-goo eyes, we're not sure how he managed to get into any real trouble. But trouble he did find. In fact, he was scared shit. Actually, we'll let him tell you. I'm shitting in my pants! Number two, ladies first. Beneath this pillow lies the key to my release. <laughs> Downey managed to land the title role of British sleuth Sherlock Holmes in this Guy Ritchie series. First, distract target. Then block his blind jab. <laughs> Counter with cross to left cheek. Another chance to show off his British accent and old timey fighting style, this movie also gives RDJ the opportunity to dress up in tons of disguises. Our favorite? I agree, it's not my best disguise, but let's make do. My God. Hey, he may not be pretty, but it gets the job done. Do you need me to elaborate? Or can we just crack on? Number one, Stark Raving Mad. Perhaps one of the most triumphant moments in Downey's career came when he was cast as billionaire playboy inventor superhero Tony Stark, better known as Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Basically, he's playing himself on screen, minus the mask and suit, of course, which means it's full of one-liners. No, you intimidate them. Good God, you're a woman. I honestly, I couldn't call that. But we love when he's getting acquainted with his second skin. Plus, both the character and the man know how to make a hell of an entrance. I just don't wanna stop. Do you agree with our list? Or do you think we've gone full? Well, you know. Oh, yeah. For more top tens about your favorite stars, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey, quit it. I'm not kidding.